I was reminded of a story about a prostitute. It's a little bit cold in these caves, my man. So I finally got the message came in that I gotta go to the shop in Kansas City. The nicest truck driving people I've ever met. <clears throat> so listen guys, all that to say, man, I did take my truck in the shop. And it just goes to show you, bro, it doesn't matter how new your truck is or how old your truck is, it can always go in the shop. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk to you again. I don't know. I don't know if that's really how it goes or not, but uh, yeah, we're here in Madison, Nebraska, baby. Got the old wolf pack holding it down, baby. Riding with the wolves this morning, old son. Now check it out. We got Poseidon. He's up in the driver's seat, bro. Uh, holding it down up there, man, while old dad's out of the cab. So check this out. We're going to pick up, bro. We're going to go down here, man. This is the second time I've been to Madison, Nebraska this week. So we're going to pick up there. And then we're going to go straight down to uh, Bonner Springs, Kansas, bro, which is just right outside of Kansas City. It's all part of Kansas City, really. So that's what we're going to do, man. Let's go pick up this load. Let's freaking get it done. We're Hirschbachin, baby. Check it out, baby. Who's ready for hoodie weather out here, man? I got this. This is my favorite Hirschbach hoodie. Well, I don't know. I really like the Carhartt one, too, man, the black Carhartt one. But, bro, this, this black and red tie-dye, bro, it's fire, man. It's fire, dude. Anyways, let's go, baby. Get the merch on today. We repping. We letting the whole world know we're Hirschbachin today, man. Let them know, Poseidon. Are we Hirschbachin today? Are we Hirschbachin today? All right. All right. All right. Yeah. All right, let's go pick up this load. What's up guys, I just made it here. We're here in Madison, the Tyson, Madison, Nebraska. And bro, I had these, I had the Vagabond Gypsies. Man, the team of the century, baby. The team of the century, man. They came up to me, man. And she said she's my biggest fan. And like these guys are some of the nicest truck driving people I've ever met. Like seriously, just good attitudes. And I mean that with Thank sincerity, you. brother. Like y'all are like just some cool people, man. Just some really just nice man, and I love cool, nice people, man. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I know it working the Tyson account and being a truck driver, it can be hard sometimes, baby. But they do a good job of it, man. And so, you guys got anything you want to tell everybody? You're the mouthpiece. You're the, she said, he said, You're the mouthpiece. I'm, a, I'm just a driver. <laughs> All I know is roll on. Roll on, baby! You heard it! She came straight from her mouth, baby! Roll out, baby! Roll on! All right. Let them know, baby. We're Hirschbachin'. Yeah. We're Hirschbachin', baby. <laughs> and away we go. Listen, man, check that out right up there, bro. You see the fog with the, with the sunrise coming through the fog up there? My windows are dirty. Ignore those, bro. But check out that fog, bro. That is absolutely gorgeous, man. Bro, you do not see that just anywhere in life, bro. You don't just see it anywhere, bro. This is freaking Nebraska, dude. And that's that's a beautiful sight, bro. Just there's just some things, man, that are just just absolutely beautiful, man. And that's one of them. That right there is one of them, man. Like, golly, look at that, bro. In case you don't remember which one Madison, Nebraska is from the last video, it was the one that smelled like barbecue Vienna sausages, bro. Like Vien like barbecue Vienna weenies, man. Yes. Taking the lunch. Woo! Hey man, if you weren't speeding, you wouldn't have a problem with me. Them Teslas, bro, they think they own the road. That's what they think they do, baby. Come on at me, bro. Pull that Tesla over. I'll fry that battery, old son. We're gonna get some fuel, man. We're gonna, we're gonna make this happen today, bro. That's for sure, man. On everything, bro. All right. Time to fuel up.
some of y'all be happy to know this guy over here on my left side right here man he just kept looking at me because i had a camera on my head bro he couldn't help but keep looking at me bro that's all right man not being asked tough questions of a lot uh, let's fill up the reefer now. How's it going? So I finally got the message came in that I got to go to the shop in Kansas City to get the camera mounted back. Listen guys, safety finally told me to run it in. So that's what we got to do, baby. So I'm going to deliver this load, then we got to get the camera fixed. And then uh, probably pick up another load after that. That's what we got going on. But first I got to go to the bathroom, bro, because I got to pee, dude. And I'm going to the bathroom. Don't try to talk me out of it this time, guys. All right, so we are in Bonner Springs. And I'm 3.5 miles away. I'm on this two-lane road. And there's a wait ton restriction on the GPS. But I've looked at my maps. This is really the only the only way in there. So we're going to take we're going to keep driving down this road, man, and hopefully Hopefully nothing bad happens and we don't crack like there's no collapses of roads or anything like that on this route uh, But I looked at the Google Maps man before I started headed out. It looks like a dirt lot That's really that's really all it looks like with maybe like a couple docks But it's not it didn't even look like a building it just looked like a dirt lot. So I don't know exactly, you know I'm a little bit a little bit nervous going into this place, man I just don't I don't like to be on roads like this out in the middle of nowhere a two-lane road i don't like to go to dirt lots or like places where my gps has red flags that come up um yeah man we just this isn't what we like to do man so um but that's all right baby because wild beer gets it there baby that's what we do at harshbach we get it done we're harshbacking baby yes sir uh My appointment time's at 2.30. It's 12.47 right now, so. See if we can just hurry up and, uh, maybe they can hurry up and get this unloaded. Hurry up and get this unloaded. I don't know, that, that seems like a dream reality, but as like I said afterwards, we gotta go to the shop and get this dangling camera, camera fixed. See, there's some trucks over there. That makes it like, when I see other trucks, that just makes me feel a lot better about my situation. Should be coming up on uh, the weight restriction road. Watch it be nothing. Watch it be absolutely nothing at all, man. It'll just be. it look just like this road right here. All right, technically this is the weight restricted road right now. We are hitting the weight restricted road and uh, a weight limit on the road, so. Speed limit 35. Back her down, boys. Back her down to 35. Exile Trail of Terrors. All right, man. We're just going to keep going in. I don't know if we're supposed to stop there or not. Nobody's coming out. I didn't see any signs saying to stop and park there, so... So the GPS is telling me to turn up this way, up this gravel road. It, yeah, it says no trucks there, so we just, we're going to keep going straight. This is the Union Pacific. That's their equipment. You can see the stickers on the Union Pacific equipment. Bro, this is just... Uh, I guess maybe they load stuff up on refrigerated containers. I don't know, man. Ah, I see a Hirschbach trailer. I see a Hirschbach trailer. I'm feeling better about this already, man. Woo! Oh, man. Okay, there's some more refrigerated trailers. 
I don't have any. Oh man, these are the caves, bro. Dude, I got, these are the caves, man. We're going into the caves now. All right, bro, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna park right here and I'm gonna go walk somewhere. I think I see some guys standing up out over there. We're gonna walk up there and we're gonna go talk to these guys and see what they say about it. Cause I don't know where I'm going, but I'm sure I'm gonna have to go in the caves. There's a, uh, a sign up there on the wall right here. It says truck dock office. So this is where we gotta go in here to get this truck dock office. All right. Okay, these, see these docks don't seem, if we have to go inside the caves, that's a lot, it's a different story. Oh, yeah. Hey, how's it going? Uh, delivery. Put that brick wall, take right, it's 100 meters down across the bridge. Right okay, all right, thank you. I should've left my hoodie on, man. It's a little bit cold in these caves, my man. A little bit cold in these caves. Okay, I see the sign. It says office. The orange sign up there says office to the left. <sighs> oh, she looks mean. She looks like she's pissed off. Hello. Uh-huh, sure. Ah. Ooh. Ooh, it's freezing in there, bro. So this is unique. They want me to open the door, slide tandems to the rear, turn the reefer off, and back into dock three. I've never been told to turn the reefer off before, so yeah, but he said uh, dock three, it's over there, man, I see it, so. We're gonna make it happen, baby. All day, every day. All right. Let's back into the freaking dock and get this unloaded, bro. Mm. All right. Out here walking Poseidon. He's being a good boy today. Very good boy today. And then over here, as you can probably tell, I backed in beside. Really, really, really nice. Kenworth over there and uh, yeah plenty of room to back up into but the dock angle was just really weird about it that was, uh, was a little bit strange so yeah bro at least y'all saw inside the caves man it's pretty cool over here dude what's that what are you eating come on bro I'll be eating that hopefully they told me to turn the reef up bro. that's just weird to me bro I don't know why they tell me to do stuff like that but it's all good it's whatever man so we did it. Let's see if they get us unloaded in a timely manner. I guess because the temperature of the caves is really cold. So, I don't know. I don't know, man. We'll just see. But there's there's three Hirschbach trailers here. So, I guess Hirschbach has some kind of more stable, substantial account with this cold storage place. So, anyways, we're going to I'm going to get back in the truck and cool off a little bit hot out here and cold in the caves baby can't never have it perfect <laughs> so what we got going on right now is we're headed to the freaking kc terminal baby hometown hometown terminal we're gonna get the camera fixed dude we gotta get this uh it's been dingling dangling down as you can see and bro we're just hopefully they can get us in tonight get it fixed tonight I've dropped my trailer in Edwardsville, man, because I didn't want I didn't want to bring a trailer in here, man, because this lot is crowded, bro. Straight up crowded. There goes the camera again, man, just bouncing everywhere, bro. TI spot trailer RTI, bro. What in the world, dude? She. I really. This is Bobtail lot over here, man. But. 
Dude, it's just got a lot of uh, bobtails here. Uh, we're gonna call this even, bro. We're gonna call this even. All right, let's go in here and check and see if we can get something done today. The terminal told me that we, uh, bro, they're not gonna get it in tonight, maybe tomorrow morning. So, I am in KC, but I don't feel like driving 40 minutes home and then driving 40 minutes back tomorrow morning if they call me. So, what we got going on is, if you look out over here, ding, ding, ding. If you look out over there, what you will see is, my good friends, that I, uh, I'm at a Planet Fitness. So we're gonna get in here, freaking work out, bro. Freaking work out, man. Uh, Cause I need it. I need it, bro. I need it, need it, need it. All right, let's get in there. Get some work done, bro. He's, he's a pretty good dog, man. We got it mounted up in there. She's got she's got some some uh, bolts. She's bolted up in there, old son. And then back here, we took the TV off because we didn't want the TV anymore. I'll show you exactly why I took the TV out, man. That right there, man. And then you can lift up the bed, and it's no problem getting uh getting underneath this underneath this storage down here so that was one reason I, w I took the tv out and i never watched tv in the truck anyway so that was another reason then if you look back here freshly lubed up yes sir freshly lubed up ready to rock and roll man for the next load so actually guys we got home a little bit early we're going to be leaving out a little bit early on sunday instead of having Sunday all the way off or whatever. So get this truck unloaded, I'm back home now, and we are gonna get back to the apartment. Hopefully, hopefully pick up little Young Wild today, man. So let's make that happen. Let's get this stuff unloaded. Freaking get it done, old son. Some of y'all probably asking, Wild Bear, why are you vacuuming your kitchen? Instead of sweeping your kitchen, man, with the broom, bro. Let me just tell you something. Get that witchcraft out of my house, bro. Don't even, don't even play games with it, bro. Pretty soon you're going to be having me read Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter or something, man. Get out of here, bro. I'm just kidding. Lord of the Rings is my favorite trilogy. That's for real, dude. Did you think that was funny, Levi? Yeah. You thought it was funny? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you Spider-Man today? Yes! Yes, you are! Look at you! You're Spider-Man! You're a handsome Spider-Man! What are we going to do today? Church! Church? Yeah! Oh, that's tomorrow! What about uh, today? A soap! We're going to go... <laughs> we're going to go look at fish, aren't we? I don't fish! Yeah, we're going to go look at fish! Yeah. You want to touch the starfish, Levi? Ooh. That's pretty cool, isn't it, Levi? Yeah, he's he's a big one. Hey, Leva. Who is that? Who is that up there? See him? Spider-Man? Spider yeah. Yep, that's who that is. What is it? Spider-Man, Spider yeah. Eat another pickle. Yeah, pickles. Mm-hmm. 
More? Huh. That's all they have. My friend. Who's your friend? Who's, who's your friend? Is Poseidon your friend? <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, we're going to go see your mommy soon. Yeah. So, Young Wild is gone. And uh, this is funny because I was looking through my bag. I have my bag right here that I take with me on the truck. It's like a little duffel bag. And, um, bro. Young Wild knows that I am on the truck by myself. Like, he's asked me about it before we explained it to him in common terms, I guess. But, um, today I was opening my bag and I'm going to show you what I, what I saw. This is a little baby, baby Yoda, uh, from the Mandalorian. And Young Wild sleeps with this at night. And, uh, I guess he put it in the bag to, uh, Help me have somebody to uh, keep me company. Even though we got old uh, Poseidon here. Where'd you go, bro? What are you doing up there, huh? Are you the star of the show? Huh? You the star of the show? Yeah? So, yeah. That was, you know, man, it's just, it's some kind of feeling you have, man. When uh, the little dudes do stuff like this. So, yeah. No, Poseidon, you can't play with baby Yoda. That's not for you. So let's pack our bags, man. I'm going to show you, bro. <laughs> Dude, it's easy for me to pack my bags. I'll tell you that right now. It ain't even hard, bro, because I don't even think about it, man. Check this out. See in there, baby? Just black t-shirts. You just pull out five black t-shirts, and you're good to go, man. That's all you got to do to pack your bags. Then you just got to get four sets of socks out. Because I already have one in the bag. Boom, boom, boom. Put those in this compartment right here. Then we got to get our bathroom stuff. All my bathroom stuff is in this, which is like my little shaving bag carry thing. And this, and if you want to know what that is, it's called Tame the Wild. You can look that up on Amazon, baby. Because that's where the magic happens in there, bro. That's for real. And we are good to go, locked and loaded, for the for the week. He's a big boy, but he's a good boy. Yes, he is. That's my good boy. <clears throat> so, listen, guys. All that to say, man. I did take my truck in the shop, and it just goes to show you, bro. It doesn't matter how new your truck is or how old your truck is. It can always go in the shop. Okay. Bro, it just takes a while, and if you're down, man, you ain't rolling. But uh, I'm thankful for the guaranteed pay once again when you're down in the shop. I want to do one last golden nugget, bro. One last golden nugget, man, because you know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hand it to you. And this has just been on my mind this past week, and, uh, and I'm going to share it, bro, because it's a gold nugget. But sometimes we, we say phrases in Christianity, something like, Jesus loves you, right, man? Which is a very cliche phrase. Like, oh, Jesus loves you. Like, but, and, and sometimes, like, we just say it, and we don't even understand what we're saying, bro. We just say it because it just, you know, it's, maybe it's comforting to somebody. I was reminded of a story about a prostitute. And um, it's the story of a Hosea and Gomer, man. And Gomer is this prostitute. And then, like, God tells this dude named Hosea, he's like, bro, go marry Gomer. And he's like, okay, bro, I guess that's what. So they have three kids together. And then she leaves him and goes back out prostituting again. And then God tells Hosea, he says, go find her and buy her back. Because at this point, Gomer, the prostitute, is in slavery. Like she is like Hosea go like he's like he goes and he finds her where she's at and she's just gotten herself into this huge mess. 
And it's just, she's just, she's enslaved. She's like being sold off. And Hosea buys her back. Sometimes when we say things like, oh, well, Jesus loves you. The dynamic there is to understand what that phrase truly means. We have to know who we are. And we have to know who God is. And who Jesus is, bro. And, um... I've been Gomer, dude. Like, not just once in my life, many times in my life, dude. And when I say these gold nuggets, man, I don't, I don't preach from a pulpit. I'm just standing at the foot of the cross, man, pointing up, dude. So please don't think I'm trying to be self-righteous or prideful, because I'm not, man. But I, and I really didn't even want to share this story on here. But I just, it was just weighing heavy on me this week. And we have to know who we are. And we are Gomer, man. We're the prostitutes, dude. And I've just, I've ran away from God multiple times. Rejected God multiple times. And done things and hurt people and pursued my own lusts and passions. And I want you to know, man, all that's ever happened to me when I do those things is just ended up in chains in bondage and in in this complete misery bro we have to know who god is god is hosea in this story and when jesus died on the cross man he paid the debt for our wrongdoings and the stupid things we've said and done he paid the price for all of those things a price and a debt that we couldn't get ourselves out of no matter how hard we worked or how hard we tried. And so when we say that God loves you or Jesus loves you, what we're saying is, man, he gave it all and he pursued you and he paid the price for you, man. Nobody else in this world's ever done that and nobody else in this world ever will. And it doesn't matter how hard you work or how hard you toil, you just can't ever fulfill the need that Jesus can fill and I just wanted you to know today man Jesus loves you and he's looking at you and he's looking at me and he says man I paid the price for you man I gave it it was all done it was finished with the work of the cross man and that's called the gospel and it can be received today. I just want to explain that. I just felt like that was deep on me to explain that. Because I know what he's done for me. And his arms have always been open to me. And I know his arms are always open for everybody else too. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. That whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. It's not just for me, it's for everybody, man. It's not just for a select group, small group of people. It's for everybody, man. It's not, it's not for the elite. It's not just for this group or this party, this political party. It's for everybody, man. It's for everybody, dude. I love you guys, man. I really do mean that. Thank you guys. For those of you guys watching to the end, you caught the gold nugget, baby. There it is, man. I know it's a long, I've been putting out long videos, but you made it to the end and I appreciate it. Thank you so much and I love you. And just know that um, I'm praying for everybody that watched it to the end. Because I don't want my life to be void and empty, bro. Because I know what I turn into, bro, when I just serve myself, man. It's a wretch, dude. I'm a wretch. So, listen, guys. I love you, man. Y'all take it easy. Have a good one, man. Stay dangerous. Wild Beard out.